From the vastness of the cosmos to the microscopic origins of existence lies a place, a concept, infused with both the essence of science and the echoes of divine creation. They call it the primordial soup, or, with a more biblical reverence, the crucible. Within this extraordinary cradle, the very building blocks of life were forged. Whether by the forces of nature, over eons, or through the guiding hand of a higher power, the story of the primordial soup is one that begs to be explored. In the early 20th century, Soviet biologist Alexander Oparin first presented the world with a groundbreaking hypothesis. Life on Earth arose not through a singular miraculous act, but from the gradual transformation of simple molecules within a unique environment. The primordial soup. Imagine our young planet, vastly different from today. A harsh atmosphere, devoid of oxygen, swirled with carbon-rich elements. Lightning crackled through the sky, volcanoes spewed their fiery contents, and energy in its purest forms bombarded the surface. Within this chaotic cauldron, simple organic molecules, the precursors to life, were born. The raw materials were present, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and others. When acted upon by the intense energy of our early Earth, these elements combined in ever-increasing complexity eventually forming amino acids, the foundation for proteins, the workhorses of all living things. The primordial soup, whether a vast ocean or isolated tide pools, became a rich broth. Concentrations of these amino acids and other organic compounds built up, providing the fertile ground for something truly extraordinary to emerge. Yet, the leap from inert chemicals to a living, breathing organism is immense. Scientists grapple with the specifics, but a prevailing theory suggests the formation of self-replicating molecules within the soup. Perhaps these were primitive precursors to René, akin to the genetic blueprint within our own cells. Encased in protective membranes, these microscopic entities were the first sparks of life. Simple, resilient heterotrophs relying on the soup's organic bounty for sustenance. Through the unfathomable stretches of time, evolution sculpted these primordial life forms. Mutations and adaptations arose, potentially leading to autotrophs, organisms capable of harnessing the sun's energy to create their own food. The foundation for Earth's dazzling biodiversity was laid. From the realm of science, we venture towards the mystical. Ancient texts whisper of a place called the Crucible, believed to be the very wellspring where God shaped the first humans, Adam, Lilith, and Eve. It is said this divine location embodied the fundamental formulas for life, the very same processes described in the primordial soup theory. The Bible hints at a divine fire known as Vril, a force likened to the raw energy that permeated our young planet. Was this energy the guiding hand shaping and animating the organic compounds within the crucible? Do science and myth intertwine within the concept of the primordial soup? For some, the meticulously observed natural processes Oparin describes are the divine plan unfolding, a testament to a creator working through the very laws of physics. For others, they may represent parallel stories, one grounded in data, the other woven with symbolism. The primordial soup leaves tantalizing mysteries in its wake. Did life originate in the warm shallows of the surface, or perhaps within the scorching depths of hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor? We may discover life's first flicker in places even more alien, perhaps in the methane lakes of Saturn's moon, Titan. The search for answers propels us forward, pushing the boundaries of biology and astrophysics. One day, we may even engineer our own primordial soup in a laboratory, playing the role of creators ourselves. The possibilities are both all inspiring and ethically complex. From that ancient, turbulent soup arose a story of unimaginable complexity and beauty. Every creature that roams the land, soars through the skies, or dives into the ocean depths owes its very existence to those humble origins. Within each of us, in every strand of DNA and every cellular function, 
lies the echo of that primordial genesis. It's a humbling reality, reminding us that we are inextricably connected to the first breaths of life on this planet. The primordial soup, the crucible, it is a testament to the extraordinary potential of the universe, whether guided by cosmic chance, meticulous creation, or a beautiful blend of both. As we search for traces of life, whether in the soil beneath our feet or on planet's light, years away, perhaps the greatest mystery to solve is not how life began, but what wonders are yet to unfold. Thank you for accompanying me on this journey of origins. If you found this exploration fascinating, don't hesitate to like, share this video, and leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. What do you believe about the origin of life? Share your thoughts. Subscribe for more mind-blowing science and philosophy.